Um, so, I, you've seen me all tonight, kind of like, <laughs> running around, making shit happen, because that's what I do, that's always my family. I am Claudine's cousin, I am her younger cousin, and I am probably the youngest of six um, that she watched out for from the beginning. And I would only do what I'm doing now for a select few people, and Claudine is one of those few. Um, that part, you got me started, and here I am. Um, this is the last speech, so just bear with me. I, me and Claudine talk about each other, and we talk about each other as always. Um, I'm your OG soulmate, Wes, you are her new soulmate, and today I get to pass her on to you. Um, when, when I was young, I was the weird one, I was always kind of the outcast, and I cried a lot, I got picked on a lot by our family. Um, all six of us all grew up in the same row of townhouses as cousins. And whenever I got picked on, whenever I was being a little too emotional for being different, Claudine was always there to protect me. I would go to her, and she would make me feel better. Even if I did not, like, I never had to tell her, I never had to ask her, our whole relationship has always been unsaid. To this day, I thought about the speech, and I was like, Today I finally get to tell you, in front of everybody, everything you have meant to me and all that you've done for me in my life, and why I call you my soulmate as well. Um, you've always protected me, you've always been there. I have put your family on a pedestal and loved them because I started with you, you know? And uh, we would spend summers and day after day, I was the little cousin watching horror movies with you. You'd be freaking me out. Um, and we just grew up together. And then we met, went to a new phase. We kind of grew up. We hit teenage years. And I feel like a lot of people don't know this, but uh, me and Claudia got even closer in those times because Whenever Claudia needed an escape, whenever she just needed to be somewhere, she would come to me. She would show up at my house, or call me, and she'd be like, Steven, pick me up, and I would be there in a second. I never asked a single question, I never said a single thing, I was just there. And we never talked about it, but it was, that's what we are, we're unsaid. I don't think anyone would have realized that I'd be the one giving the speech here for you today, but it's because what we have is between us. I'm there for you always, you were there for me always, and at those times, those were some of the best times of my life. We would watch Buffy, <laughs> we would watch America's Next Top Model for days on end. She would just sleep over all week, go to work, go to school, come back, and we pick up where we left off. And if there's a sport that we are experts in, it's binging TV. We binge, 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 then we wake up and she'd make me pancakes and spam, and then we'd do it all over again. <laughs> um, and then we grew up. Um, I moved to Asia for a while, we moved apart, but the foundation we built has kept us close ever since. Claudine, if anyone were to explain her, would be the like queen. She, every single one of my friends wishes she was her, idolizes her, thinks she's the like, sexiest woman ever, because she's the ice queen. She loves it. Always to 
me, and what most people don't know, is that she's a major softy on the inside. She is the most caring, nerdy person in the universe. Um, aside from Buffy, we love Harry Potter, we love Lord of the Rings, we love our fantasy novels, um, we're just nerds, and we're not to mention Grey's Anatomy. Um, honey will never drop a tear, but if she talks to Grey's Anatomy, boom. <laughs> um, all this to say, I, we look at each other now. Lottie has turned to me the past summer over and over again, and she never gets sentimental. But she she pauses and she's like, damn, look at us now. Like, can you believe this? Look at our lives. Look at how far we've come. It's crazy. Like, we did it. We made it through. We're living our lives. And she got us. And Wes who found her. And I get to pass her on to you. Thank you. 